hey what's up everybody welcome back to the channel we're gonna go crappie fishing again today um you guys seem to be enjoying the crappie videos and i'm certainly enjoying making them man these fish they've been biting pretty good the past the past few times i've been they've been biting pretty darn good so you know i don't really have a set game plan today i just want to go out here and catch some and try to figure it out every single day is different you know the fish will be in different depths every day every day you're either post front or pre front it seems like this time of the year so you know every day on the water is a different day that's what keeps us coming back for more but uh we're gonna go out here and see if we can figure something out y'all stay tuned let's go catch some crap Nice crappie. Not a real big one, but he's a keeper. I've had a hard time so far today. Pretty little fish. I uh it's been tougher than it than it has been being. I guess it's just the day, you know, some days are some days are better fishing days than others. I mean, that's just the way it is. Whether you're bass fishing, crappie fishing, it doesn't matter. I've had a pretty hard time finding them so far. I've been looking for new places and, and doing some different things, but there's a lot of fish on this place. We'll see if we can get another one to bite. A lot of them are bluegill, but the crappie are mixed right in with the bluegill. There's a crappie. Boy, he knocked the fire out of it, I'm talking about. <clears throat> come up and jump like a bass. Oh, he come off right at the boat. Mm. I got the best out of him anyway. He was a pretty nice one. All I'm doing, I'm just throwing out counting to about 10 just slowly reeling it back with a 132nd ounce head I like to use most of the time I like to use as light a jig head as I can possibly get by with I've just found that normally lighter is better when it comes to, to crappie fishing got one i'm gonna be honest with y'all i didn't even know that was a fish I thought, I thought i was hung up it's a dang good one too <laughs> that's crazy look at there <laughs> that's wild i pulled back on it i didn't feel anything he never thumped never did anything thank you buddy I had no idea I had one. He just, just kind of sat down on it. You can tell it's just one of those days that they're just not real, real active. But, I mean, that's okay. You can still catch a few. So that's what we're going to try to do. Got him. Nice one too. Get up in here. I've got some fish on a boat dock right here. That's a pretty one. Look how thick that fish is. I've gotten real close to them.
So I'm just pitching it in there and just letting that jig kind of pendle them back to me. And it worked on that one. Let's see if it'll work again. Using a little bit longer rod right here. I'll tell you a little more about this setup. In just a second. It moved on me just a little bit. What I'm using right here. I was looking through my, <laughs> my stuff in my shop this morning. I forgot I had this rod. It's a seven foot medium light action Bass Pro Crappie Max. I've had this one for a long time also. Um, but it's more of like a, a jig pole style rod. A little bit longer. And it's a good feeling little rod. When I get around these docks, a lot of times I'll use it. Mm, I missed that one. Because that extra length sometimes helps you around these docks. Definitely some fat ones in that school. Pretty fish. All I'm doing right here, this dock has a, a lift in it under the surface right there. I don't know if y'all can see that, but there's a boat lift in there. So that's keeping me from actually casting in there and, and reeling my jig through these fish. So all I'm doing, I'm just pitching my jig in there and just letting it fall. Um, and when I catch one, I've got to get him up out of all that metal. So it's sort of risky business, but there's definitely a pile of them in there. There he is. Line just stopped falling. Another good one. All about the same size, about 11 and a half, 12 inches. Dang good size crappie, that's for sure. fire out of it. Donk. <laughs> you gotta love that. That's fun right there now. Hard to get to. Not easy. A lot of people would never even try that. But if you're gonna be a crappie fisherman, you're gonna to have to you're gonna to have to get used to putting your jig in places that other people don't try, that other people don't think to put it. better now this morning it was pretty doggone tough but i'm getting getting a few bites now about midday about 12 30. you'll have times you know it's just cold water fishing but especially crappie fishing you're going to have times when they're going to bite better certain parts of the day kind of the way it is.
He's giving me a fit. I don't know how big he is. Oh, yeah. He's a good one. <laughs> big old black nose. That big sucker. I just broke off. And I changed colors. Went to a chartreuse and blue one. He ate it, first cast. Another nice one. Guys, I had some questions <clears throat> last couple videos how to use your side imaging to find crappie and what you want to look for. So right here is a prime example I want to show you. Now this is a dock right here. And if you look real close, this is the outside of the dock. This is the outside of the dock floats. I've got my side image going 80 feet on either side. All right, so this is the very outside edge of the dock. This is where my boat is right here in the middle. So I can tell that those fish are right under this dock. There's a lay down coming off this right hand side of this dock, uh, the side that I went past last. And then those, all those little dots that you see under there there's a little school of crappie right here here's a school of crappie right here that's what you want to look for i mean that's that's definitely what you want to see and then you can spin around and you can kind of feel your way around under that dock um if you don't have forward facing sonar if you have forward facing sonar like lorance active target um or one of the other ones then you can just pan under there and see where they are and see where you need to cast but if you don't have that just cast in there, make a few casts, see where you get bit at, and then you'll know where the fish are. So hopefully that uh, that answers a few questions. We'll, I'm gonna do a video more in depth about that, but that's just a quick little tip. I just wanted to throw that in there. Got a nice one right there. Pretty one. That is a big one. <clears throat> Look at that son of a gun. Golly. Oh, he wanted it too. Check that out. Gosh. Man, that's a big one. Biggest one I've caught today, that's for sure. Pretty, pretty fish. Let him go. Get on back down there, boy. All right, everybody. That's going to wrap it up for today. Hey, I appreciate you guys watching, as always. We had a fun day. Um, caught several fish, you know. Caught... I don't know, 20, 25 keepers, I guess, today. Not quite as good as a couple of days I had uh, up here last week. I don't really know why. It's a couple of days after a front. Maybe that had a little something to do with it. But, you know, still a pretty good fishing day. I caught some nice ones. Uh, just <laughs> didn't come easy. I had to fight for it a little bit today. But sometimes that's fishing. I mean, that's how it goes. We all have days where it comes easy. 
we all have days where we really have to work for it. So, uh, you know, I hope you learned a little something. I hope you enjoyed. I'm really enjoying doing this deal. So uh, I appreciate all the ones that have subscribed. Tell all your buddies about the videos. I just want to keep growing this thing, man. So we'll see where it goes. Hey, I appreciate y'all watching. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on that notification bell. I'll see you next time right here. Brandon Lester Fishing.